guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kat, in case you're new here. If you are, you should subscribe to be notified when I upload new videos. This video is a tutorial, which is kind of cool. It's like a chatty talk through tutorial though. I talked about a lot, I talked about my life and stuff, and I talked about the ring light that I just got, so that's cool. Um, yeah, so I talked about a lot, and yeah. So if you guys want to see how I got this look, keep on watching. We're going to start off with moisturizing. This is the Dr. Jart Plus Water Drop uh, Hydrating Moisturizer. This is my favorite one. So I got this from Sephora as like one of their like little promo things. And it's my favorite and I want the full version. But to like, I can't bring myself to spend so much money on a moisturizer. It's going to be like a chatty tutorial. Is that a thing? Or is it like just like chatty get ready with me? Our chatty tutorial is not a thing. I'm just in a chatty mood. I got a ring light today. So I really wanted to film at night when it's dark out. And it's so dark out and I'm so excited because like the lighting's great. So we're going to go in with the Benefit Professional. God, I love this primer so much. I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Green Concealer. Just a corrector stick. Put this on my right. I don't know how I got this. This is like a scratch. I don't know if I did it. In the middle of the night or if my cat did it and I didn't notice but it happened and I don't remember it happening but I know it hurts <laughs> and it's very noticeable and very big and I scratch my face a lot actually by accident and I don't know how I'm just like moving my arm and I just scratch my face and it always hurts so bad but I always notice I never do it without noticing, so it's weird, but that just kind of popped up. So we're gonna go in with concealer now. I actually haven't been using foundation for like the past like week or two, and I've been loving it. So I'm using the Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin, and I'm using my beauty sponge. This I just got at the dollar store. It's by Lori, and I actually really like it. set my under eyes just with the Kat Von D shade and light contour kit and I'm going to be using the middle like yellow shade so I'm just going to do that I've been uploading twice a week lately and I I don't know how I feel about it I don't know I like the idea of uploading twice a week like I love being productive so I love that aspect of it but like View wise, my videos have been doing worse, which is just kind of odd because you'd think that like uploading more videos would, you know, mean more views, but I get like half the amount of views on a video. I don't know if it's just like the videos that I'm uploading though. I'm thinking maybe I should just upload some like more popular videos. I don't know. So now I'm just kind of going and putting this on my problem areas just because I don't want to put it all over my face. I don't know how I feel. I don't know if I'm going to keep doing two videos a week or if I'm going to go back down to one video a week. There's so many videos that like I want to film too that I just haven't gotten around to it. This is a video that I've been wanting to film for a while just because I wore this look. Oh god, I don't know when. I wore it a few weeks ago um, at the beginning of the month and I really liked it so I just wanted to do it on camera for you guys and now that I have a ring light I can do it like at night because whenever I want to film and like I'm most inspired it's nighttime and I have a very small window of light I don't know where the Sun rises and sets but I know that my window is not there I have a very small time span to film Especially like being at school and everything. It just makes it so much harder I can film at night now which I'm doing right now And I'm really excited about that because that's always when I want to film I've always been a night owl and so being able to like just get up in the middle of the night and film if I want to is super exciting to me So I'm gonna go in and conceal even more with my Mac Studio finish concealer. I am going to school to be a makeup artist in September actually I got accepted into a college which is really cool so I think buying a ring light is like cool and good for that. Studio fix. 
Powder Foundation by MAC. What else did I want to talk to you guys about? I don't know, I feel like there's so much. I feel like we haven't talked in so long. Because a lot of my videos are very, like, to the point product specific videos, so I never get to, like, speak my mind. I'm using the shadow insurance. But I'm gonna go in with this color right here. It's a matte, like, neutral color. Um, yeah, okay, that works. So I'm just going in on a fluffy brush and just, like, setting all over. So I'm gonna go in with the Kylie Cosmetics Peach Palette. Update on this, I'm not, I'm still not loving it. I still don't love it. I've used it multiple times. It's still pretty shitty. I do really like a few of the colors. I'm just gonna go in with Sorbet now. I'm just kind of gonna put that in my crease. I do, I really wanna bring out the peachy tones. I'm just kind of gonna ignore my lid though because I am going to put a ColourPop shadow on it. I'm gonna go in with the Pastel Goth Palette by Kat Von D and just use Clementine, which is again just like a peachy one. It just has a few more like pinky tones. So I'm just gonna go in with that. It's a little more neon, so I'm just gonna put that under it and have Sorbet still show through. Um, and then I'm just gonna go in with Beachy right here. A little bit and just put that below just to tie it all together. You know, and I'm gonna put that in my crease and over my lid. I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in Kathleen Lights. This is the orangiest one that I have. So I'm just gonna go in with this one. I actually just made an order at ColourPop because there's so many products that I have not used yet, which have killed me, but I've been on a Make of No Buy, so I just broke it to order. <laughs> because I'm a terrible person. I ordered their brushes, which I haven't tried. I ordered um, eight of their pressed shadows, which I haven't tried either, so I'm gonna film a video on that. I'm just gonna go in with my finger. How pretty does that look? Hi! I'm just gonna go in with my finger and put this all over my lid. I found that rubbing it on my lid works better than just patting. You can do either one though. So I think I'm gonna film a video on the ColourPop shadows once I get them. I'm just gonna go in with some more concealer down there. I only have one more semester of high school which is so exciting i only need three more credits so hopefully i do decent in all my classes i just need to graduate though rob stewart just died actually and well it was at the beginning of the month and i went to his funeral yesterday not yesterday the day before yesterday on saturday and that was so sad i loved rob stewart so much he's probably the most important person to me in this world or was i mean i don't know but I just, I loved that guy so much. I don't know, man. He just, wow. He just means so much to me. He's a director, in case you didn't know. Um, I would definitely recommend going and checking out some of his documentaries. I think I'm going to go in with Beachy more. Blend um, Caffeine Lights a little more. Just because, I don't know, I feel like it's not like tied in properly. I'm gonna do under the eye now. You could 100% do a wing. I don't think I'm going to. I might. I don't like doing wings though. Like, I'm not a huge fan of wings. Like, I think they look pretty, but I just hate doing them. God damn. And I did one yesterday, and it was with a white eyeliner. It was the NYX, NYX something. Um, but it was terrible. I don't know what brush I want to use. I need more brushes. I have like a million brushes, but like, I need more. I feel like they're all the same. But like they're all different but like none of them work you know so we're gonna do under the eyes i th think right now hmm. actually i think i'm gonna tight line this is the marc jacobs highliner gel crown so i'm just gonna do my tight line and probably my waterline as well but i'm gonna smudge that out with some shadows in here i think i'm just gonna use sandy right now and then i'll go in with sorbet so Sandy's just the brown and then Sorbet's this one, so yeah. Um, I've been just chilling. I uploaded a video yesterday. It was on the Cap on D um, Pastel Gloss Palette and I didn't get as many views as I wanted it to. 
for you guys. I think I uploaded it like a long time ago. I don't know when. Um, God damn, it must have been a week or two ago, a week and a half ago. I'll link it down below though. But I don't know, I created a really cool look with it, I feel like. And it didn't get as many views as I wanted it to. I know I uploaded it yesterday and I should probably be more patient, but I just, I really liked the look that I created. Where's the brush that I'm looking for? I can't see it. Am I blind? Um, so I'll link it down below. So if you guys would go check that out, I would love you forever and it'd be so cool. I'm gonna go in with Sorbet now. It's just this color. I'm gonna go in with the pastel goth and just go in with Clementine. I'll bring a little more peach to the under eyes because it's looking very brown right now. I'm gonna do my brows right now. So I'm gonna use Blondie by Colourpop. It's just a brow pencil. So I'm just gonna do my brows. It takes me two seconds to do my brows and I'm so happy about that. Um, I got a tattoo recently. Not recently, uh, like a month ago. On my birthday, January 24th. It's my 18th birthday. That's the second tattoo I've got, but I love moons so much and I've been wanting this tattoo for like a year. So I finally went and got it and I'm so excited and I love it so much and I think that it's so pretty. So I'm really happy about that. The first tattoo I got, I was 14. 14 and my dad just died and I got um, Roman numerals of the year that he was born on the back of my neck. It was He was born in 1968 so I just got 68, I didn't get 19 um, just because 1968 is like this long. Like it's so many, like it has like 18 characters. <laughs> Not that many but it, you know, 68 has like 5 or like 6 or something. I don't even know what it says to be honest. I just know it's there. Um, and it's the correct Roman numerals and it means 68, but I don't know what they are. I always forget that I have that tattoo, so I love that I have this one because I can actually see this one. Also with my Colourpop order, I ordered a uh, blondie but in the Colourpop um, color, so like the little pomade, which I'm really excited about. I really want to get more tattoos, to be honest. I love tattoos. There's so many that I want. I just have a list. I have like a board of tattoos on my Pinterest. If you guys want to go check that out, which would be super cool. I really want a shark tattoo just because sharks are my favorite animal. One and two, Rob Stewart. Well, I think I'm going to go in with ha highlight for my eyes. So I think I'm just going to use this. This is the Becca Pearl highlight. Pastel Goth by Kat Von D and the, this is just a white and the Kylie Royal Peach Palette. I don't have highlight colors, so I'm just going to use this. One, because I really like this for a highlight, but also two, because I already put my other ones away. And it's all the way behind my like ring light and camera, and I don't really want to mess with that right now. This doesn't work that well, to be honest. It works okay, but meh, you know. I still need to do mascara, but I think I'm gonna fill on the mascara first impression. So I'm gonna stop this video when I go to put on mascara. So I used the mascara, uh, the MAC in Extreme Dimension 3D Black Lash. And it was really, really pretty. I really like it. So yes, I think we're done with that now. We're gonna go on to contour because yes. So I'm gonna use the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. Contour kit, contour palette. I'm gonna go on with the lightest shade right here. I'm gonna use the Hula Bronzer by Benefit to bronze my face. I'm just using the Real Techniques contour brush. I'm just gonna bronze up my little face a little. Just uh, basically make my forehead match the rest of my wings. I'm gonna go ahead and contour. So I'm gonna use this little guy, this is the, I don't know what this is, but it's just like a little baby brush. I'm using the same color that I was earlier. I'm a right handed person, I really want to get good at doing stuff with my left hand. I'm going back in with this guy, but I'm going in with this color right here. I'm just gonna highlight my nose. I'm gonna go in with my favorite blush. This is the NYX Blush and Angel. It's so pretty. It is my favorite blush. I use it every day. 
blushes. I really want to get some orangey blushes. I don't have any orange blushes. This is like the closest thing I have to orange and this is not orange. It's, there's some, definitely some like peachy undertones, but it's not like anything close to like what I want. I really want, what is it? It's by Too Faced. I Will Always Love You. I think that's what it is. It's one of the heart blushes and it's um, orange. I think that's what it is. I hope so. So I'm going to go in with the Butter Bronzer blush. This is in Natural Glow. This is a little light. So I'm just going to go over this and see what it looks like. It smells so good. It adds like a nice glow to my face. So I'm just going to do that. Now highlight. I'm going to go in with Becca Pearl. Just to uh, bring in the eyes I guess. I don't know. Why not? <laughs> Hi. I love highlight. <laughs> Honestly. Have you guys seen the new uh, Nicole palette? The Nicole Glow Kit by Anastasia? It's probably out by now actually. I haven't decided if I'm going to get it because the swatch just came out today. It looks like it's targeted more towards people with tan skin tones um, and I have really pale skin. So I'm sure I can make it work if I bought it, but I haven't decided if I'm going to yet. This is Screenshot by Colourpop. This is an ultra satin. So we're gonna try this. Um, and this is like a peachy color, so hopefully it brings out the peach tones a little more. Oh, it's really pretty actually. So this is the finished look. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. Uh, yeah. I'll see you guys in my next video. I hope you liked it. Leave a like and subscribe. Check out the video on the MAC mascara. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!